In the diagram, line segment PQ and RS intersect at T, the value of X is. Well, this is a right angle, that symbol, so that's 90. So therefore this, if I call it Y, Y plus 50 plus 90 is equal to 180 degrees. So that means that Y is 40. So by opposite angles, this is also the same as Y, so that's also 40. And now we just look at this triangle. So in this triangle, X plus 40 plus 110 is equal to 180. So that means X would be equal to 30. And uh, therefore, number 9, the answer is A. In the diagram, PQR is 90 degrees. The value of X is. So that is 90. So from there to there is 90 degrees. Now, they have labeled that as 2X and X. So 2X plus X is equal to 90 degrees. So that means 3X is equal to 90. And therefore, X is equal to 30 degrees. So number 3 the answer is A. In the diagram, PQR is a straight line. The value of X is. All the angles about a line equal 180. So if this is 136, and this, let's say, is Y, 136 plus Y is equal to 180. So therefore, Y is equal to 44. Okay? Put that in there like that, 44. And then all the angles of a triangle equal 180, so that means... 44 plus 64 plus X is equal to 180. And then we can solve for X. X is 180 minus 44 minus 64. And therefore, X is equal to 72. So number 6, the answer is A. In the diagram, PQS is a straight line. What is the value of X? This is 110. Therefore, since all the angles about a line equal 180, this angle in here must be 180 minus 110. And that means that's 70 degrees. So now we have 70 plus 3x plus x plus 14. And those three angles will equal 180. And now we just have to solve this basic algebra question. So we got 4x is equal to 110 minus 14. And that looks like 4x is equal to 96. And therefore, x is equal to 24. So number 7, the answer is D. If PQ is a straight line segment, then the value of x is. This symbol means 90 degrees. So if this is 90, this is 90 also because they told me that PQ is a straight line. So this whole thing is 180. So you can either say, OK, the whole thing is 180, so all of these angles have to add up to 180. OK, well, this angle is 90. And then we have an X, and then we have a 20. And all of that together is 180 degrees. So solving for this, this looks like 180 minus 110. And X, therefore, is 70 degrees. So number 5, the answer is B. In the diagram, the value of x is? Well, this is 48. This is 90. That's what that symbol means. So this is going to be 180 minus 48 minus 90, since the sum of the angles of a triangle add up to 180. And if you do that, you get 42. So I'll put 42 right in here. And then. This angle right here is going to be, I'll just draw a little arrow there, 180 minus 60, because the sum of the angles about a line are e equal to 180. And that, of course, is 120. And then finally, this angle in here, that one, we can get, because we know this is 42, this is 120. And the sum of the angles of a triangle are 180. So that means it's 180 minus 120 minus 42. And if you do that, you get 18. So that little angle is 18. And then finally, we get to this one. All of the angles about this line will add up to 180. 
and those two angles are x and 18. So that means x plus 18 is equal to 180, and therefore x is equal to 162. So number 10, the answer is E. In the diagram, what is the area of triangle ABC? So let's blow this up a bit. This is going to be essentially dependent entirely on the coordinates. So if this is the height from top to bottom, that distance is the y-coordinate of A, and that would be 9. So 9 is the height of this triangle. And the base is from there to there, which is the x-coordinate of C, and that's 12. So therefore, the area is 1 half base times height, like that. And that looks like 6 times 9, which is 54. So 54 is the answer to number 8, and that is choice B. In the diagram, the center of the circle is O. The area of the shaded region is 20% of the area of the circle. The value of x is x over 360 degrees is going to be the equivalent area if you compare it. And they've already told you that is equivalent to 20%, which is 0 0.2. And there you go. That's what you have to solve. So x is going to be 0 0.2 multiplied by 360. And that is equal to 72. So number 6, the answer is D. In the diagram, what is the measure of angle PQR? PQR is this little guy in here, right? PQR, so that angle, right in there. Okay, so let's proceed with this. Well, this side is the same as that side, so that is isosceles. So that means if this is x, this is also going to be x. So 2x plus 60 is equal to 180, and therefore 2x is equal to 120 x is equal to 60. So there we go, we got 60 there. And then in a very similar way, that and that means that those two sides are equal, and therefore that triangle is also isosceles. So this angle and this angle are the same. So if I call this angle, let's say, y, that means we've got this angle also is y, right? So 2y plus 30 this time is equal to 180 in that big triangle. So therefore, 2y is equal to 150. y is equal to 75. And then finally, our angle PQR, in terms of my labeling, is y minus x. So y is 75, x is 60, so that is equal to 15. So number 6, the answer is E. In the diagram, what is the perimeter of polygon PQRST? All right. That symbol right there means that those two sides are the same. So this is 3 right here. So far, so good, I think. And then I probably have to draw a line from there just to cut that in half, or I don't know if we're cutting it in half, but cutting it. And therefore, that distance is 3, right? It's the same. That's a square. So this distance is 3. So this whole thing was 6, so that means this has got to be 3 also. And then very similarly, let me drop a perpendicular from R down to the bottom like that, approximately, right? And then that means that this distance is 3, right? And then this is a right angle because that was a perpendicular. This whole thing was 7, so that means if this is 3, this distance is 4. So I'll just put that there. And then this is a grade 10 contest, so by grade 10, I'm sure you're aware of the 3, 4, 5 triangle, if that's a right angle. In case you weren't, you can figure it out through Pythagoras. And if you do, you get Rs is equal to 5. So that's 5. So now the perimeter of this whole shape will be this 3, this 3, this 5, this 7, and this 6. So we got 3 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 6. And that is equal to 24. So number seven, the answer is A.